Hi friends, hope you are all doing fine and hope it's a bright sunny day for all of you. Today I'm going to delve somewhat deeper into the Humboldt Fellowship and discuss a few more things. Now I have mentioned that the Humboldt Foundation essentially gives postdoctoral fellowships in Germany and these postdoctoral fellowships are typically given for a period of 6 to 24 months. One of the requirements in this fellowship is that your PhD should have been done in the last four years. So this does give you an estimate about what is supposed to be a typical postdoc position. You essentially can spend a few years, maybe one to three years in some different place, maybe doing a postdoc first in a different country and then going to Germany. Or you may even spend this time in the industry or some startup or somewhere else and you can still apply for a postdoc position provided you have decent publication record and you can write a proposal and get referees and a host. Now, today I'm going to discuss something else and that's a particular Humboldt Fellowship which you can take if you are slightly more experienced and this is known as the Humboldt Fellowship for Experienced Researchers. And this is very useful for people who are say beyond four years. Essentially the requirement is that your PhD should be done in the last 12 years, within the last 12 years. Now, one of the aspects of this requirement is that this becomes very useful for people who are in more or less permanent positions, whether they are assistant professors, lecturers at universities, or they may be working in research labs as scientists. Or in fact, they could be working in the private sector in some science lab and some capacity like that. So in all these cases, it is possible to take this particular fellowship and the advantage of this fellowship is that you can take leave from your place. So typically when you are an assistant professor or in many cases even a scientist, you are entitled to a sabbatical after six years of work. And this is a particularly good way to take a sabbatical because this Humboldt fellowship at the senior level or at the experience level will give you six to 18 months of fellowship, which is quite substantial. And the interesting part is that this fellowship can be done in one stint. You could do a six month fellowship, you could do a one year fellowship, you could do an 18 month fellowship. Typically you can get leave up to one year if you are going for a sabbatical, but for some reason you may want to take a smaller leave, maybe six month, if you want to come back and get back into some research projects you have. One of the good parts about this fellowship is that you can break it into stays of up to three slots. So you can break it up within a period of three years and maybe take three six month visits. So this is something which is very useful. And in many cases, this can lead to more engaging and deeper research work with your host professor or the host university. So there is some time here to go and work in Germany for some time, maybe go back to your home institute, do some further work there, again go back to Germany and so on. So this lets you propose things which may involve, let us say, theory and experiments. Maybe you do theory in your home country, you go and do experiments in Germany or vice versa. So there are many such possibilities here. Now, of course, in all these situations, there is the possibility you take a German language course and intensive German language course which is provided freely to you by the Humboldt Foundation. Now I personally did not take this because I did not get enough leave to take such a course so I had to only concentrate on research but I would suggest that if you can do take the intensive German language course because it will let you get deeper into the life in the country and of course you are getting a free course so that's very useful for you. Now. Remember that the selection committee for the Humboldt meets several times a year. So at the time I'm making this video, it meets in March, July and November. And uh, typically you hear back from the foundation within four to eight months of submission of your fellowship. And you can begin your fellowship two to 12 months after you get the notice from the foundation. So these are some more aspects about the Humboldt postdoctoral fellowship as well as the senior fellowship or I should say the experienced researcher fellowship so you can take advantage of these things. Now what happens if your PhD has exceeded 12 years or it was more than 12 years ago maybe it's 13 years since your PhD 
While there are some more fellowships, the Bessel Fellowship is one you can look at. And uh, that's something which is much more competitive, but it is a very prestigious fellowship. You must have heard of the name of Bessel, Bessel functions, and so on. So suddenly that's something you can try out. Maybe I will make a video on that in detail later. That's been taken by many well-known mid-career scientists and researchers. Thanks for listening to me. I will see you in a video soon. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. It's something which I like and something I'm sure you will benefit from and spread my channel throughout your network. See you soon.